Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of this Need for Speed Let's Play series. Now it's been a while since I've uploaded one of these videos. That's because I've been getting things ready for stage 2 for my Golf R. So you'll know what's going on and what's happening with that car if you're interested in that sort of stuff. I've been asking you guys where is the race dealership and I'm about to show you. This was a tricky one to find. There's the runner dealership, it's right behind the petrol station. Drag dealership is right there, you can notice that straight away. Same for the drift dealership and the off-road dealership is pretty much smack bang in the middle of the map. But then the runner dealership was nowhere to be seen. Now I zoomed in, I zoomed out, I've had a look absolutely everywhere. Then I started thinking, well maybe do I have to unlock the race dealership? But it turns out, if you go right where this gas station is, or petrol station, depending on where you're from in this world, but if you zoom in, the race dealership is right behind it. Now why they would do that? Maybe they were trolling us? Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a mistake? I have no idea. But I just wanted to share with you guys where this race dealership is because I can guarantee a few of you have been asking yourself this for quite a while now. So as you guys know, I started off with this little Volkswagen Golf GTI, the Mark 1. Such an awesome car. And I wanted to... I wanted a Golf R. I wanted a Mark 7 Golf R on this game. But as you all know, it's not on this game. And the next best thing is the Golf GTI Club Sport. So I've already done a few modifications to this Mark 7 GTI. Now, as you guys know, I own a Mark 7 R, and this is pretty much how I want mine to look in person. It has the 19-inch Vossen wheels. We've got the Tornado Red. We've got the side skirts. We've got a front lip. I do have a spoiler already. It isn't a Club Sport one. I think the one I've got is slightly better so we've got one of those and I do need to get a rear diffuser so all in all without the black roof this is how I want my Mark 7R to look like in real life I'm not sure if you follow Need for Speed on Twitter at all but they did say keep an eye out for these coca-cola trucks now on the actual tweet it's got the bigger truck the big 18 wheeler truck like the coca-cola advert but what I've heard people only seem to be finding these smaller trucks with the coca-cola logo on and as you guys know you can get or you could get the actual license plate in the coca-cola theme so I think that's a little pretty cool addition for Christmas and let me know in the comment section if any of you guys have found these trucks Just like old times, huh? Almost makes you miss some of the stuff we got up to, huh? <laughs> Man, some of the stuff we did. God, we were such punks. He's low, to be fair. Really low. And quick for the looks of things. Um, I think I may be in, may be in some trouble here. So what I have done is I've done all the smaller races or missions, the little side missions leading up to the big boss. This guy in front of me. So I've done that with all the the three teams. Just so it, it's not too boring for you guys. I'm just gonna keep things straight to the point and onto the story mode. I don't want you to be watching the little side races unless you guys want to. And if you want to, go ahead and leave a comment down below. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the little side quests off camera and then record the big races for the main story mode. Tough as ever. Somehow I've caught him back up because at the start of the line, to be fair, he did shoot off. Ooh, you still got some moves, little guy. Man, that Where did it even come from, anyway? Yeah, remember when Rad brought back that new Chevy? 
You were too short to get your foot on the gas pedal. It was adorable, little Ty. Reach in and reach in. Okay, okay, I got it. Clean corners and you... So this is a... This is a long race, to be fair. Seven miles left. I'm really not sure how many miles I've actually done. Even when I was doing the off-road races, the small ones, they were a long, they were a long race. They were easily five miles. Remember wrecking your dad's Camaro on turns like. And this guy keeps on talking over me. I still remember you taking the blame for that. If I was the only one that could get away with stuff like that. Every time I go and speak, this guy Tyler keeps talking over me, talking rubbish. Unless I'm talking rubbish, here he goes. Right here, hombre. Oh, I thought I went the wrong way then. Ah, so he went the other way. You could go two ways. You got this. It's nice to see uh, Need for Speed stick into the roots nice and realistic because my front wheel drive golf gti is drifting i know i've said it before and need for speed is arcadey it's arcade based but there's arcade based then there's far-fetched and drifting a front wheel drive car Me and first, you uh, I, I've, I've got nothing to say I'll leave you guys think think of that. Finally the finish is just up the road. Oh I thought I was gonna mess that right up then. If I crash then I'm he'd have overtaken me. Has he got anything to say? They normally phone you after the race. After you've beaten them. And I don't think he's got anything to say. So now I'm going to go ahead and beat the off-road boss, which is this one. Yeah, which is this one here. Right on the airfield so I can just jump to the garage and make life easier for myself. Great view, huh? Now the real fun. Race to the canyons, one on one, you and me. Get ready to lose to this flashy showman. Let's do this. So let's be honest, as if that Ford Raptor would keep up this RS. But then again, it is need for speed and you never know what can happen. Oh, and she just wiped herself out. I'm sure she just went off the, the edge then. Or it was really close. She actually went through those orange uh, barriers. So I bought this Focus RS because I was... Every time I talk, this bloke keeps talking. I wish he'd keep his mouth shut, to be fair. Right, as I was saying, I bought this Focus RS because I was struggling with the Subaru with the off-road races. It just weren't fast enough and I didn't really, at the time with the tuning shop, the upgrades weren't really there. Oh, messed up. So, I saw her with a Raptor and I thought, so that's actually going to be decent. You know, be a need for speed and all that. So I went ahead and bought one of those, and it was a, it was rubbish. It was absolutely rubbish. So I went ahead and bought this Focus RS and upgraded it because the tuning shop did have a fair bit of mods there, and it's turned out to be, it's turned out to be a beast to be honest. Almost lost my fender there. Pretty sure my suspension is trashed. So I'm really happy with this. As you can see, I've put the wide arch kit on there. 
I have lowered it here, man. If that's possible. As low as it can go. I know that's not ideal for off road, but when it was really high, it just looked terrible. Especially with the really thick tyres. And the the blue it actually comes in on game is is more of a metallic and is nothing like the blue that the Focus RS comes in in real life. So I did have to edit the it's a wrap on you, but I did have to edit the paint. <laughs> I'm already thinking about the next race. I still haven't unlocked the exhaust yet, as you can see, but I have put this cool little diffuser on the back. I say little, it's, it's quite a big, it's quite a big one. I just wish you could push the wheels out, like on the previous Need for Speed. Because they look a bit lost with these arches. And I wish you could take off these rear windscreen wipers, because they look awful. They look so much cleaner and smoother without one. Oh, I thought I was going to wipe myself out then, when I hit those rocks. You're running out of time, babe. I got all the time in the world, showman. She keeps calling me showman. It's getting annoying now. So she's running a Ford Raptor, lowered it to the max she can lower it to and you ready oh yeah let's do this cambered every wheel like she's got some serious camber to be fair and that's how you and that's another win now you'd think the 350z is a much better drift car in real life obviously that is an obvious answer. We won't even go into that debate. But on Need for Speed, on the other hand, I'm going to pick the MX-5. Because it's Need for Speed, it is far-fetched, it is arcadey, I'm going to choose this because somehow this is better than that. And I have no idea, so I'm just going to go with the MX-5. Give it up, Mac. There's no way you're touching my score on the Silver Canyon All-Star. We'll see about that. Goodbye, Drift King. So I need to beat this score, 150,000. Let's see if it is possible. Well, it's possible, but let's see if I can actually... Right on. If I can do it. I will say for this car, it does lack power just like real life but when you're drifting on this game in this MX-5 it is really controllable and I like off-road <laughs> stop I'm not trying off-road come on it'll be fun yes it's I it's gonna be easy I thought there'd be more of a challenge than this. How's your score holding up, Aki? Still a long way to the finish line. Yes, but not a long way to your score. I didn't think you'd actually do it. I'm yep. Humbled, Mac. Humbled. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The great Aki Kimura has been taken down by the even greater Mac McAllister. The underground soldier speaks highly of you, by the way. Are you too, mate? But I still haven't beat this bad mind. The political type? All art is political. Now let's see if I can beat it going downhill because this thing is much easier to drift downhill. You my record already. Because <laughs> you just can't tear your eyes away. Yeah, I really did think that would be a much, much more of a challenge than it actually was. And this is meant to be a boss, a boss battle as such. Still can't beat that bet, mind. We 
because as soon as we straighten up, your combo ends, and I, I think that's wrong. I think it should it should give you at least a couple of seconds, maybe. But anyway, that's another win. That's the third boss beaten this episode. So guys, I'm gonna end it here. I thought it'd be more cutscenes, and I thought like a main quest would pop up, but we've beaten three of the main bosses on, I suppose, the main quest. So next episode, I will be heading down here and checking out this assignment, meet the broker. I will be doing that, and then I'm just gonna carry on from there. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to ask me anything, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I read all comments and I do try my best to answer back. And be sure to subscribe for more Need for Speed content. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.